two. There's a two. There's a two. <laughs> Lucky for me. Back in my pocket. The two is a seven. <laughs> Keep reordering it. Um, I have the shade brunette. I think it's like five dollars and sixty six cents, um, and I've got it linked here. But it is really, really, really good if you like to comb on to make your eyebrows a little darker. You just get after it with this little spoolie looking thing. It's really good. I've been using this N Y X tinted brow mascara for a little over a week now. Tried it out. It was only five bucks because my other Tarte brow gel that I use, I think it's like fifteen or twenty bucks. Can't remember. And this price went five dollars. It is so good. I like it so much. Like I'm gonna. If I have time, Which one? I'll do that probably. Which one are you doing? The little bells? Yeah. It's pretty. I like the green. Yeah, it's so pretty. Very pretty. Got a little ornament. And these ones are double sided, two sides. It's really cool. I like it. Well, no, not you. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna come. No. He's gonna You're see actually it. doing pretty good. And then, so I really have right yeah. and, then, and then we'll do a yellow or an orange. Are they Scare me. It didn't scare you? No. Well, that's good. Uh, uh. Make it with cornbread. It is so good. Mike is requesting it hardcore this year. He's like, while well, Olive Garden was great, <laughs> can you make that chili again? So I'm probably going to be making that for Christmas Eve. But it's like really good. Everyone can like serve themselves. So if you're ever doing like a birthday party or an event, the Olive Garden one is really, really good. You get a ton of food. You get like different meats to put on it. I mean, it's like basic, but it's good. This year, I'm going to try to have my act together and make like a white bean chili. Oh, it's so good. I'll share the recipe here um, if I can find it. It's Giada's recipe. It's so good. I think it was on the Food Network. Anyways, the Olive Garden, pa Olive Garden pasta bar was a huge hit because there's like three different kinds of pasta focus to be on and I learned that very quickly I'm like this is not bringing me joy <laughs> like I, this is stressful like I don't want to ruin the turkey so yeah I totally cheat and it's like the only way to do it and I cater Christmas Eve meal usually I do feel like once my kids are older and they don't need Mike and I to like open the toys and like play with them when they get it it's like maybe that'll be fun to like do all that stuff from scratch and take the whole day of prep and all that but right now it's like that's not what I want hours you basically you're essentially just warming it up so I get a turkey and a ham and if you need permission to cheat this is this is what I'm doing so I order the turkey and then everyone brings like a couple of side dishes that we cook from scratch so you're still getting like that home-cooked meal and like who cares if the turkey wasn't slaved over for eight hours you literally can order it from like stores or restaurants and cook it for like three the party can still go on, you know? Anyways, so, but I totally cheat. And I decided a long time ago that like, I don't want to waste my whole day cooking and prepping. So I order my turkey from like restaurants or stores. And then that way, if it tastes like dirt, I didn't cook it. So I host Christmas and I love hosting Christmas um, selfishly because I've, you know, had toddlers or babies for the past eight years. And so I like that I can put them down for bed at like a reasonable hour. And then I can still hang out with my family and play games and no one has to leave. That's why I like it. Um, so now I'm curious, there's like 80% of people just show up for Thanksgiving, like us. Okay, so then how's Christmas? Do you host or do you show up? I host Christmas Eve dinner and Christmas Day dinner. I am about to jump on a work call before I head out the door. Today is the last full house reveal, house number 20, which is crazy for the show, and then they just finish editing and then hopefully we have an air date soon. I would love that. And then the reusable notebook that you draw your notes on, right? With a marker or a pen that comes with it. And then you scan a little QR code and it puts it into your phone. So you have forever and then you erase it and you can keep reusing it and reusing it. They're on sale as well. You know, the eye massager that someone nominated for fan favorite finds that I ended up loving, bought it, totally thought it was going to be like something funny to show and talk about. No, I love it. So good. That's another great gift idea for someone who has anything and or everything and it's $30 off today. Anyways, there's a lot. I'll spare you. It's like teen girls, teen boys, all different ages for kids. Some really random ones like plant lovers gift guide, kitchen items if they like, if they're like a baker. Anyways.
single thing you can think of. Every age is on this gift guide. Black Friday sales are, you know, hitting the internet like crazy right now. And uh, maybe some of the items are on the list are on sale now too. So if you haven't seen that gift guide, I'll post that here. Literally like every words about the gift guides. I'm so glad that they are helpful to some. That's the whole point is just that you can knock out quite a few people at one time. The hard work's done and it's easy. Um, these stocking stuffers are now added to the big gift guide post. So I'm going to reshare the gift guide post as well. I stayed home from the family outing today to ensure that bib naps because we are very much lacking sleep just because we're on vacation and she's not sleeping well because it's not her bed, of course. Anyways, I've been in DMs and um, I just want to say thank y'all for the kind of morning at 3 p.m. where I am. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, what is it? It's the day before Thanksgiving, so Thanksgiving Eve. Are you guys hosting Thanksgiving or are you just showing up and thankfully eating? Where's your fibula? <laughs> Where's your metacarpals? Vivi, you're behind. We gotta work on this. Where is your ear? Where's your knee? Where's your ponytail? Where's your ponytail? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have a tail. Wait, that makes sense. That's kind of... I'm mommy. I'm put this one on me. I'm too big. Thank you. Oh, Grandma's here. <laughs> okay. Pretty shiny. Okay, well. Boop. <laughs> oh. Vivi. Who's there? Boop. How did I know? Hey, Vivi. What? Come here. What? Come here. What? <laughs> <laughs>